actually driving here. We will see how this goes. Last time I did a video like this. What in the heck? Okay, when you wear an oversized sweater and the camera makes you look 10 times heavier. No. So we're going to try this again. <laughs> the last time I posted a video like this, I was like sideways. Like, what? I don't know why. So, I am out and about doing me. And a thought occurred to me. So I'm just going to like tell you guys about it while I drive home. So, I was in the middle of studying at the library. Is there something behind me? Okay, anyways. There's some, um, yeah, I was studying. And I'm studying this class that's part of my minor. And I was just like, I was trying so hard to focus. But this class, I was like, yo, I have 20 chapters to study. Like, in four days, how am I going to do this? And in the middle of my studying, I just get this thought in my head like, maybe I shouldn't be doing this like it was so existential so I'm stuck with this dilemma right now of like two sides of the story so here's one side the one is the first one where I said I don't know what the heck I'm doing in my life um, that came from the fact that I'm doing biology as a minor mainly because um, well, our school makes us pick a minor for a liberal arts or social science major, which makes sense. It makes you look good, I guess. But I picked biology specifically because I used to be a bio major, but I switched to psych because I wasn't good at bio. So I figured bio minor, since it has, you know, just a couple of classes, no maths or anything, that I could just run through it. And plus, I only have like three classes left that I can do next semester, so, so it's fine. Um... Little did I know that university biology at this school in Texas is way harder than the one I took in Alabama. So, I was just going through my head like, yo, know, a lot of this stuff that I'm looking over is the first time I looked at it because this semester I have not been paying attention to this class. I've been skipping so many classes just to do other work, just to do her homework. Like, it's crazy. So how am I supposed to do three at the same time next semester? I don't know. So that was in my head. Plus, a video I watched last night. I should link it below, but there was a video called How To, it was basically like, I don't remember the title, but she was basically talking about how you shouldn't listen to the opinion of others, and I was like, oh, this looks nice, so I watched it, it was like a 15 minute video, and um, it was intriguing or whatever, but I was tired, so I went to sleep, and then that kind of popped into my head while I was thinking about this too, because the main person or people in my life that told me that biology was good and like beneficial and it'll lead you to medical school and stuff were my family members. Family members, extended family members who have the same values of since we in our past didn't have money you should go and do this. Even though like they're really big people. They're like doctors, lawyers, nurses, teachers, professors, but they're, they just all have the same mentality like the girl in the video said so basically I was like you know what I shouldn't be doing this just to please them I should be doing what I want to please myself because it doesn't matter in the end as long as I'm happy I want to be happy but I also want to live comfortably that's the thing so I just started like panicking and I went on Google to see how many semesters it would take me to switch my minor again I mean not again but like to switch it from bio the Human Developmental Studies and Family Studies and basically that's under the School of Education I mean I have no interest really in the School of Education in general but the courses that are involved within this minor are very interesting it's like how families are created like the different dynamics that they have going within them it talks about different psychological careers that go along with this stuff it talks about a lot of stuff that are just very interesting in terms of like psychology and um, some type of little bit of social work a little bit which I am interested in also despite salary <laughs> but um, yeah so that's the one hand on the other hand I was thinking while I was eating lunch today that there's this one lady who I was talking to like this is months ago she was like kind of giving me an interview not really an interview, but it was like for a friend. Because she, Marianne, 
um, hey, if you're watching this, because she needed um, a reference. So I, I was like, sure, and she just interviewed me about her. But specifically at the end of the interview, it was very interesting, because I didn't know anything about this lady. She just asked me, like, so what are you doing? What are you in school for? And I told her, well, you know, I'm a psych major with a bio in, as my minor, and I hope to um, do... I think at the time I was just discovering about occupational therapy, but I didn't know if it was like the one thing. Actually, you know what? No, that was the same weekend I found out I wanted to do it. Yep. So it was like a day after or something like that. And I told her what I wanted to do, and she was like, that's great. You know what? Just stay in school, and the biggest advice I can tell you is get a master's degree or a PhD. Like, always keep going. You can't just stop with a bachelor's. And she specifically told me this, not to say that psychology was bad. She is saying it because, as she was black too, she said, as a black woman, who is black and a woman, people in the job areas of wherever you go will look at you, not for you, but your status. Like, how much schooling you've done. Or, like, they would, like, kind of, like, I guess based off of her experience, they'll look at you and say, oh, so how did you get into this school? Is it because you're on a scholarship that's because of your race or something like that and I never like looked at life in that way because I've never been in a position where I was like talked down to or anything because I was black I've never been in that situation so I'm actually kind of privileged in that way so I'm thinking that everything's probably just gonna be easy and it's gonna go into it but she gave me really good advice on that so all of that is just to tell you that basically on the other hand should I stick with biology because it is credentially like positive I mean she didn't really specifically say anything about my major or minor she was just saying as long as you go to grad school it'll be better for you in terms of like job seeking <sighs> which I know definitely so there's that I don't know it just popped up in my head but these are just thoughts that I've been having and I'm just like uh either way if I go with a bio minor or an HDFS minor they both can help me I both they I need either one but um there are pros and cons to both I like frantically sent an email to the advisor of the HDFS program saying let's say hypothetically I switch to yours how long would it take me to graduate then <laughs> and then I was about to like frantically email my ooh I need to change my oil <laughs> I frantically emailed my well not yet my psych advisor who I don't need to see anymore because I'm not even like I'm done with all my psych prereqs but now I'm just, at the same time I'm like oh my goodness but I can't go over a certain amount of credits before I graduate so I'm like never mind so I had to stop I was like Rana you are leaving this place you need some Jesus time okay so I, I stood up thankfully I did that at the same time as me being starving because I literally didn't even realize I hadn't eaten lunch and it had been like four hours so I did that but yeah thus has been my day thus far I'm going home right now YouTube to wow this car is really hating my driving skills right now okay let's speed up <laughs> this is me every day I don't really care though Ooh, uh, cheese and rice. This has been my day. Also, uh, you guys, this past week, Cinematic was released from Owl City. Nobody knows this on my YouTube channel, but I am an avid Owl City fan. I really hate this person behind me. Like, I'm the biggest Owl City fan. Like, I could write 10 papers about him. I love Adam Young. Okay, anyways. <sighs> I don't even want to make this a subject topic to talk about. This is another video in itself. But there's so many mixed reviews on this album. Like, it says it's not even released. We only know four tracks. Actually, five, I think, from the album. Well, five tracks were released this year, but four on the album, I believe. So there's All My Friends, Fiji Water, um, Fifth of July, and Not All Heroes Wear Capes was released this year out of the cinematic uh, soundtrack. And the real one has three of those tracks. There's just like so many like things that I could talk about about this in particular because like I love Adam. I did not really like 
all my friends upon first listen. This is such a different topic. Like, you guys have to hear this. But <laughs> I'm so passionate about this band. Like, I didn't really like it upon first listen, but as I watched stuff about him talk about it, just it's like, okay, I'll appreciate it because it's Adam. I love me some Adam. And I've been deprived of his music for like the entire year. Uh, and of his voice because he released scores this whole summer and this whole year. And they've been beautiful, but I miss his voice and I miss his whimsical, quirky lyrics. That's one of the biggest parts that is missing from this reel, from this album as a whole. The only song that we have to relish upon that on is a little bit of Fiji Water in terms of lyrics. A little bit, very tiny, but it's still very literal. Fiji Water is extremely literal, but it's good because he's grown up. You guys, Adam Young is like 30 years old. He's 31, actually. He cannot be singing about strawberry avalanches for the rest of his life. So that's the other side of the argument. I do love that song. And I do love Fiji Water a lot. Fiji Water actually like almost made me cry. It was so good. But yeah, he's growing, he's changing, but his music still stands true to Al City. You can even hear those little melodies in the background that are just so reminiscent of Adam and his past like pre-debut Al City ness if that makes sense. Like he's so Al City, it doesn't matter where he goes. Now uh, what else was I gonna say? <laughs> that that's a little rant. <laughs> um, something I did not like very much was people commenting on his girlfriend's uh, post, not on it, but like about it on Reddit, and they said, "Oh, it's cute that like you know she uploaded a video about him and his uh, inspiration behind the work, but it's like she's taking all the credit." I was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> Where did it say that? Where did you find this? Like, you guys are just butthurt that, <laughs> that Adam is in a relationship. Like, chill out. I was never angry at that. It was weird, though, to see, like, the contrast in personalities that they have. That's what threw me off. Because Adam's very quiet, very, like, he's so humble and very secretive about his music and the creative process and how it goes and how popular it is and everything like that. And, that's all we get from him. He's done so. But here we have Abby, like, just basically fangirling. Abby and Katie fangirling about this album. And we see them, like, dancing in the car. Like, mm. And I'm like, okay, that's very opposite. It wasn't that bad. Though. So it was just, like, contrast. Like, I didn't expect it. I expected her to just, like, sit down with her tea and just, you know, talk about something and a little bowl. I don't know. But, I mean, she didn't have tea, but, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, that's crazy. I need to end this vlog right here because, um, we're getting into new territory, not new territories in the neighborhood, but, <laughs> so, we're about to make, like, the biggest turn of my life, and I'm afraid that this phone is going to fall, also, I don't want to waste all this time watching this video because I'm not really talking about anything anymore. I'll vlog some other time. It's currently finals season and I want to cry. <laughs>